Hello everyone, welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I have something to give you today. I'm going to give you a look that you can install inside of uh, Topaz Studio 2. Now Topaz Studio 2 right now does not have the ability to install a look into it. Like if somebody gives you a look, they don't really give you uh, the way of bringing that look into Topaz Studio 2. You, you can migrate like looks and presets from a previous version of Topaz Studio, like Topaz Studio 1, but you can't install looks. But I made a workaround for that. So today I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm also going to give you a look and let you install it in Topaz Studio 2. And one of the reasons I made this video today was because I was thinking in upcoming tutorials, uh, when I do my Topaz Studio 2 Creative Toolbox series, I want to be able to give you looks free that you can go ahead and download and it'll help you out and you'll see everything that I've done. It'll help you to get to a point quicker. So I wanted to be able to do that. So I wanted to come up with a method to be able to install looks into Topaz Studio 2. And that's what this is all about. And then I'm also showing you how you can share your own looks that you make with your friends and that's cool too so hey without any further ado let's get started now there are different ways you can share your uh, topaz studio 2 looks you know you can email them you can put them on a thumb drive and share them with some friends or you could use the uh, google drive and share them that way in my particular case, I'm using Google Drive. You would start out by opening up your file browser and get my link that I that I send you and just uh, paste it into your file browser, however you get it into your file browser. And it, it may look a little different depending if you're signed in or not, but you'll just see this here. It says no preview available download. Uh, just click download simply like that and it'll go ahead and download it and then you can open it up. Then just simply open up your download folder and double click on this file that says TS2 on it. All right. So I'll just double click it. That'll launch Topaz Studio 2. And once it, once it launches, this is what it's going to look like. In my case, it's going to look like this. In your case, it may look different. You might be asking yourself, what the heck am I going to do with this? It says houses look and I got this weird looking image in front of me. Well, basically, I originally made an artistic image of some houses and I came up with these different filters and it looked really nice. And you're going to see that here shortly. But I thought, well, I want to give this to somebody. I just want to give them the look. I don't want to necessarily give them the image, but I want to give them the look that they can use on their images. So I needed to find a way to get that look transferred to them because... To be honest with you, uh, at this point in time, Topaz Studio 2 has no way of importing a look. Like, there's no way that somebody can send you a look and you can put it in, but I'm showing you a workaround, okay? So, if you download my look and open up that TS2 file, you'll get this. Then all you need to do is come up here to File and say Save Look and give it a name. Let's just call it Houses and say OK. And now watch. I can go ahead and delete this group right here that came in with that TS2 file. I'm going to delete it. And this is, just, I just made this in Photoshop. A simple red background with houses look text typed on top of it, okay? So now when I click on add look here, you'll see that I have that uh, installed uh, houses look right there. And so if I click on it and now click apply, it applies it to it. Now imagine this would could be an image of some houses or some flowers or whatever and that particular look would get applied to it. This is just my workaround to send my looks to my friends. All right, so you downloaded my look, you double clicked it, Topaz Studio 2 opened up, this look appeared right here, you came over to file, you saved the look, you gave it a name and now it's under your looks right here. And now all you have to do is come up to uh, Topaz Studio 2, the menu here, and click Quit Topaz Studio 2. And it says the file has been changed. Do you want to export to change? And I'll just say no. And then you can delete this file if you want to, or you may want to save it and put it somewhere else in case you lose it and you need to uh, reinstall it again. I hope all that made sense. And now we're inside of Photoshop, and I have this image of some houses, all right? And this is how I made that look. I made it off this house image right here. How do we use that look? Here we go. We're in Photoshop, as I just said, and I duplicated this background layer and called it Topaz Studio 2. So now let's come to Filters and let's launch Topaz Studio 2. 
And after it launches, all we need to do is go to our looks and find that look. Now we'll come over here to add look and make sure you have the look category set to my looks. In other words, if it's set to all, you're going to see all your looks in here, okay? But to get to the looks that you've installed yourself, just go to look category and click on the drop down menu and click my looks. And then all your looks will show up here. Now here's that look called houses. So if I click it, give it a second here, there it goes, it renders out. I'll click apply and there it is and you'll see here I have all these different filters associated with that look a basic adjustment so let's shut off the basic adjustment and all I did with this adjustment was just lighten it up a little bit now I can open that adjustment up and I can change it I might say I want it lighter or I want it darker you know I might say I want it a little bit darker and I also want to add some clarity to it so you can come in here and alter these things and you can alter all the different filters here or take filters away and you could save it as a new look if you want to. I might say, you know what, I want to open up my shadows a little bit. They're too dark. So let's just open those up. Maybe uh, give it some more highlights. That's too much. Maybe something like that. And then uh, let's go to the uh, texture filter and let's shut this texture filter off. You can see this is the border. Okay. And if you open up the texture filter, you can see that it was that I used this border fade number six. And here's my different settings for that uh, border. Now, the only thing I did to this was I bumped up the detail on it. But you might say I want that border a little bit darker so you can darken it up a little bit like so. So you can come in here and play and have fun. Go to the next texture here and let's shut this texture off. And that texture is giving it that, uh, it's called concrete, I believe, giving it that nice little uh, painterly type background on it right here. And it's called uh, concrete. Yeah, that's the name of that texture. And it's in the overlay blend mode and the opacity is at 0.68. I shut the color off it. And um, yeah, so there's that one. And if I wanted to add some more detail to it, I could take the detail and bump up the detail. Maybe give it a little extra detail, maybe something like that, or take detail away from it. So whatever you want, you can play to your heart's content. But remember, looks are a starting point. Okay, and then the next uh, filter, or the next filter I added, or probably I actually added this before I added the texture, because it's the uh, second in the stack here. And that was the impression filter, so let's go on there, let's shut it off. There's the uh, image without the impression filter, and here it is with. And of course, we can open up the impression filter and see all the adjustments that I've made here. And the first filter I actually applied was the remix filter. So let's click on the remix filter and let's shut it off. So that's what the image looks like without the remix filter. And here's what it looks like with it. And let's open it up. And you can see I used this filter called Ocean Floor. Style strength was low, and there's all the different settings that I use for it. I pulled the saturation back a little bit. But you know what? You could come here and say, you know, I want to try this uh, AI Remix uh, preset right here. And now we get a different look. But again, this is a starting point. It's a launch off point. And actually, I think that looks pretty good. So I might say, you know what? I like this. It gives me a total different look just by altering this one AI Remix um, filter here so let's go up here and click add look and let's or not add look i'll leave this mistake in not add look let's just click the x here save look that's what i want save look and i'll call it i'll call it uh, houses two and click ok all right and there it is now let's go ahead and get rid of this whole uh group right here called houses let's delete it and now let's come up here to add look and now let's click on houses too and you'll see the difference take place and there it is isn't that cool and I actually really like that now here's my recommendation for how to uh, share your look so just go into Photoshop I just got a letter size document here I just simply went up to file and new and clicked on uh, where was it letter okay and said create and made this document I just colored it green filled it with green and then I added some text over it called houses to look because that's what I'm gonna name this look here okay so now all I have to do is pull this all together 
and stamp it up to a new layer. And the shortcut is Shift Option Command E or Shift Alt Control E if you're on Windows. And there it is. And now all we have to do is go Filter, uh, Launch Topaz Studio 2. And once that launches, just come up here to Add Look and go to that look that you just made off the image that you were working on. And that was called Houses 2. And so click on that like that and click apply. And I know it looks horrible, right? Houses to look. It looks like it's right out of a Frankenstein novel or something like that or a gravestone or whatever. It's kind of kind of creepy looking, right? But it says houses to look and you, you can see it is a look. And then all you need to do is come up here to file and save save project as and tell it where you want the project to go. Mine, I would send it to my desktop and I'll call it um, houses, houses to look, and it's just going to, it's just going to save it as a Topaz Studio 2 file, and then you could send it off to your friends. Again, you can email it, send it on the Google Drive or a thumb drive or whatever, and just click save. And that's how simple it is. And then you'll find it on your desktop. Let me go ahead and navigate over to my desktop. And let's see, here it is, right here, Houses to Look. Now I could send it or give it to whoever I wanted to give it to. Well, there it is. Now you know how to install looks into Topaz Studio 2 and to also share your looks with your friends. And I forgot to mention, you could also probably use Dropbox to do that as well. Hey, and this image is actually, this particular image is the actual image that I used to make that look off of. So you saw it on the houses and now you're seeing it on this particular image right here. On this image, I used a little bit of layer masking on the bird and some of the flowers as well. But there you go. I hope this is going to be a valuable tutorial for you today. And also, I'll uh, link this uh, tutorial to you in future episodes when I do my Creative Toolbox series. And if you don't know how to install a look into Topaz Studio 2, because really you can't do it, but I'm showing you how you actually can do it. So I'll link the uh, video along with uh, the videos that I give you free looks with, okay? Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.